From the very moment you set eyes on him, you realize you're about to experience a perspective on life even more extreme than the bone-crushing handshake he greets you with. Inside his cottage, the ordinary is mixed with the bizarre. He uses a vase as a teacup for one thing. You start to think of Lilliput or Alice in Wonderland, and as welcoming as he is, it's still all slightly nightmarish. Because while something's easy, it's also clear that everything is wrong. This poor man simply doesn't fit into a world in which the ergonomics are designed for people within a certain height range. I can only get about via horse and cart because the local buses are always full and I can never find a spare seat. And I've never even attempted to get into a normal car. Also, at people's houses, I have to keep one eye on where I'm putting my feet and the other on where I'm banging my head. Leonid lives in the kind of place where people own a cow each. He had an operation on a brain tumor when he was 14 and it stimulated a growth hormone. At 34, he's now 2 meters 53, or 8 feet 3, and believes he's grown 20 centimeters in the last four years alone. If he carries on, he could become the tallest man ever to live. He used to be a vet until it became impossible for him to work, and now he lives off the land, picking on things his own size, like vines, and struggling with things at ground level. He complains he can't get a watch to fit, and everything, from shoes to clothes, has to be handmade. Sometimes I used to feel angry, usually when I didn't have the proper clothes for our cold winters. But it is I who must adapt to the world, rather than the world to me. Word spreading about Leonid has caused a wave of sympathy and offers of an operation either in Scotland or California. The most urgent need is to fix his failing sight. Leonid won't suffer fools who regard him as a freak show. His dimensions may not fit into the world, but he comes across as extremely well adjusted. And he really, really enjoys doing that handshake. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's, 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 no, 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 it's, no. It's, <laughs> Lawrence Lee, Sky News, in Ukraine.